What's good with y'all, dear man? That's Billionaire Charlie. I am Billionaire Charlie. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button for me. Trying to reach my goal to get to 8,000 subscribers. So help me out by subscribing to the channel and hitting that like button and share all my videos. But today we're gonna talk about this uh, Tiana Teller and Amara Shepard situation. And I'm gonna break down the different layers of how I feel about the situation and what I think couples should never ever do when they're in a relationship, you know what I mean, as they're trying to have long term. When you get married and you take your vows, you know what I'm saying, and y'all have those respectful things amongst each other, I always believe that if you begin to bring somebody else into the picture and each one of y'all okay with it, you don't understand the, uh, the, the things that can happen in the relationship. You know what I mean, you might get with a woman they can't get pregnant right away and then you bring in a, a third another person into the relationship and this woman will be a lot further you know what i'm saying so the situation they had man we all know that she's a, a wonderful artist that's with good music under kanye west you know what i'm saying put out uh, some good projects some good work you know what i'm saying a lot of people are into her music and we all know amar shepherd played for the cleveland cavaliers he won the championship with lebron james and um, he was uh, on that package deal with Dwayne Wade, uh, Isaiah Thomas, and a couple of other guys that was shipped out of Cleveland during the time that their season was going bad. And since that time, Amar Shepard been moving from team to team, situations like that. But anyway, it was rumored that, she, that he was supposed to have been uh, cheating with more than just one woman, not just the woman that they had agreed upon, you know what I'm saying? And that one that they agreed upon, he's supposed to allegedly had got pregnant. That's why I say in a situation like that, it can become very dark because you never know the intentions of the other person. Because what feel good, you can become addicted to that. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say if you're going to have a relationship, you should just have a solid relationship with the one you marry. Because if you begin to open each other up to other individuals and being okay with it, then it's going to turn into a dark place. And I heard that... uh. He was also offended by all the female things that she was doing with other women. I mean, he took it as a disrespectful thing over time of the continuation of the disrespect. Like I say, once you allow something like that to go on and that's your thing and y'all, then you, you feel some type of way about it at, at the end, it's like, it's too late then. If you stop it in the beginning, then you will be able to uh, keep the relationship going further and further. Like I say, people that's still looking for different individuals to have sex with and things of that nature, they should be in relationships. They shouldn't be in a relationship or a solid situation right away. I know people have kids and things of that nature. I mean, just because you have kids don't mean that y'all right for each other for life term. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's just not meant to be. You know what I'm saying? We've seen a lot of these situations happen with a, a, a multiple of celebrities. I mean, the less and love is two different things. You know what I'm saying? When you love somebody, man, you can be with them rain, sleep, snow. When you dealing with just lust and you in that moment, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's it feel good. It feel right at that moment. You know what I'm saying? But when that individual or situation changes, you know what I mean? Then the love ain't there no more. That's why I say you gotta build off love, not intimacy, and not um sexual things, and not uh money. You know what I'm saying? Because if a person run out of money, then that the love ain't there. Or if it's uh, love, then it's, it's official. Like I say, playing those type of games when you're bringing in other people into the relationship and what they call the open relationship, you got to understand what comes with that. You know what I'm saying? I know everybody has seen the Pandora's box movie before. You know what I'm saying? They kind of know there's a lot of traps in those situations like that because what you thinking, a lot of time than what another person thinking. What you feeling and what another person feeling. You know what I'm saying? You be telling them not to fall in love, and they be falling in love. So you, it's, a, it's a tricky game you play when you when you interact with other people into the relationship. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody ain't going to be on the same page because we all made differently. So like I say, um, I don't think it's a good idea for anybody in a marriage to live a lifestyle like that. Now, if you single and y'all just dating here and there, y'all can do what y'all like. But when you getting married and there's something serious and y'all start bringing in other individuals, you're going to have a serious issue, especially if somebody that that person can always get in contact with and stuff like that. It's likely going to be an issue. It's going to be a serious problem. And as we can see, they're talking about separating and things of that nature. 
You know what I'm saying? You know, you can only fake the funk for so long. You know what I'm saying? Before the real come. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, you know what I mean? The toxic, the toxic relationship will begin to unfold right before your eyes. That's why I say that that's a deadly game to play. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, both of them are talented individuals in their own craft. You know what I mean? Her in music and him in basketball. But I feel like uh, that's a deadly game to play. And I don't feel like people should put themselves in that position unless they're ready for that big, those big shoes to fill. Because once emotion and all that get involved with it and you begin to like something, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's that addiction, man. It's like that person that... You know, I know I've seen it on uh, uh, this this thing that they have on the chip bag. You can't just have one. You know what I'm saying? It's that feeling of just being having that lustful feeling for it. Once you enjoy it, you want it again. You eat that, you get that good soul food meal. It tastes so good to you. You know what I mean? You be like, oh, now nah, I ain't gonna eat. I'm gonna eat it one time. If you get that sweet potato pie, whatever it is, and it's good, you be sneaking there every time getting a sweet potato pie. So, oh, you got fried chicken, cabbage. Is that addiction? You know what I'm saying? So, like I say, I don't think you should play with it if you ain't ready for it. But like I say, that addiction is powerful. You know what I'm saying? So, but that's my take on it, man. I am being there, Charlie, man. I'm trying to reach my goal to 8,000 uh, subscribers. You know what I mean? Put in that subscribe. Hit that subscribe button for me. Hit that like button. You know what I mean? And share all my videos. And if you would like to donate to the cash out, my information is right there below. Now, like I say, I love all y'all out there. I respect all y'all that tune in to me. And once again, I want to let y'all know I do comedy on on my show, on on my channel. I do comedy. I tell you, hip hop news, sport news. You know what I'm saying? Give y'all regular news. I break down a whole lot of stuff. I also do the comedy thing. So when I'm doing the comedy video, you gotta understand when it's, it's real and when it's fake. You know what I'm saying? I like to surprise you and give you a little joke here and there. But love all y'all, man. Y'all know what I always say. God for his family and finances.